Hello and welcome to this Dr. Osmas key skill video on combining two ratios to form one. So we've got two ratios, x to y is 3 to 2, and another ratio, y to z is 5 to 7, and we want to combine them into one ratio, x to y to z. Now the way I do this is to lay it out like this. So we've got x to y to z. Now we're told x to y is 3 to 2, so let's put that in the x and the y column, 3 to 2. And y to z is 5 to 7, so y to z is 5 to 7. Now, in order to combine these into a single ratio, we need those y parts to match. Now, remember, we can change a ratio by just scaling the numbers by whatever we like, just like with a fraction. So we could times this 3 by 2 and times a 2 by 2, or we can times them both by 4, whatever we like. But we want to multiply these numbers in such a way that we can make these two y values the same. So it's a bit like working out what's the common denominator with fractions so you can add the two fractions together. What's the lowest common multiple of 2 and 5? Well, it's 10. Now, to get from that 2 to this 10, it seems to be 5 times bigger. So the 3 also needs to be 5 times bigger, which will be 15. So 3 to 2 is the same as 15 to 10. And then what about 5 to 7? That's the same as 10 to what? Well, the 5 seems to have got twice as big to get from 5 to 10. So the 7 has to do the same, it needs to get twice as big to get to 14. So we now know that the ratio of x to y to z is 15 to 10 to 14. Now we just want the ratio of x to z, x to z, x to z, 15 to 14. So x to z is therefore 15 to 14, and that's the final answer.